stinky. Oh, Dada stinky. Look at him. He's totally trying to sit up. Good morning to everybody. Uh, the weather is fabulous today. It only took us two hours to get out of the house this morning. New record. Woo! I'm just kidding. I'm going out of the house way faster than that. But oh my goodness, like talk about a crazy, insane morning. And I was just planning on staying home today and hanging out with the kids, but. The house was so crazy. Like, okay, let me give you guys an example of what was happening in my house. Do you feel like you're there? Picture yourself in the bathroom getting ready with us. check that out. I don't really have any shoes for him either. He's growing out of stuff like crazy. I've been kind of stalking my mom all day to figure out where she's at. So she can come help me because it is so hard to shop with two kids at the grocery store by yourself. So today officially feels like fall. It has been sprinkling all day. It has been super cool weather and it is time for a fall wardrobe. I am wearing these nice little boots with the fur because you have to wear those in the fall and winter. It's just a must. Keeps you nice and warm. And then I have my American Eagle jeans on. Just to add some color, I have this little tank top underneath. It's kind of like a coral color and I got it at Ross. This shirt looks a little bit bigger because I got it when I was pregnant. So it is a little baggy on me, but it's nice and flowy and comfortable. And I got this at Target. That is my outfit of the day. It is officially fall and I hope that the rain stays because I love it. We went grocery shopping. <laughs> Now it's time to unload. <laughs> Look at these clouds. They are pretty gnarly. Like you can see that the rain is uh, coming in. So these ones are talent and I like to get anywhere from five to seven. So I don't feel like I'm doing a ton of laundry and talent already had a couple at the house, but they're not as warm as these, but oh my goodness, like this one, so mountainy and we got blast off and this little sports one. Yes, Roxy, what can we do for you? You're interrupting the moment. What are you doing? Okay, don't bite me. She's like, this, she bites. And so she only, you can only pet her for like two seconds. Okay, and then I got this little spaceship one. And the best part is that we always get the kids pajamas for Christmas. Excuse, excuse me. We, this one's Christmas theme, and then this one is too. So, and then we got this little monster one. And then for Journey, here's her Christmas one. This was the only one they had, but it was still pretty cute. And then she has this one that says happy. I got her this one two piece set because this one's a little bit cooler and it has a cat. And then some little cat pajamas and some elephants. And then this one's a little thinner because she does run pretty hot. So she, and then this little purple one. So I'm gonna throw these guys all in the washer. And then these little nuggets fell asleep. They fell asleep on the drive home. Roxy, are you just sleeping with the kids? What are you doing? you can see me because it's so dark in here but anyways I came home with the kids a little while ago and Tyler and I had a nice little powwow nitro can you hear him drinking the water he sounds like a freaking camel Tyler and I had a nice little powwow. We were talking about all the stuff that he got done today and what we did. And then he went to bed because he has to get up at like seven in the morning. We lit our first fire of the season. It was like roaring a little while ago, but now it has got a slow burn going on just to keep the house nice and warm. And then I don't think I showed you guys this last time, but our red light down here, look, you can see the chickens. So we set this up right outside our sliding glass door just until they get a little bit bigger but the red light allows you to see all the chickadees and they're all eating right now or at least a couple of them are eating the heat lamp is on and that's going to keep them warm throughout the night because it's getting a little bit cooler dash is watching them <laughs> actually all the dogs are i'm just hanging out right now enjoying the fire and watching friends <laughs> that's so funny okay we'll see you guys tomorrow bye
And oh my goodness, is it obvious that I'm excited that fall is here? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I had to cut myself out of saying fall about 20 times from this vlog because I was so excited. I think I said it ever time I turned the camera on, but I am really excited. Like we have our firewood ready. It's supposed to get pretty bad where we live. So we should be having snow and lots of rain and stuff. So we're trying to get our property all ready so we don't flood again. And I have my tea all ready and I'm just ready to snuggle on the couch and watch some movies. That is like the best part about winter. But what I didn't explain about those onesies, cause I cut out the beginning part, but every winter, so the last two since we've been living here, it just gets extremely cold where we live. And I know we've explained that quite a few times, but it is a little difficult to keep our house entirely warm. So getting those onesies for the kids is great because we're hanging out the house all day so they can wear them all day they're really easy because you just put them on and zip them up and zip them off and the kids when they go to bed we know for sure that they're staying warm I mean we go in throughout the night and check on them and we cover them up with blankets and stuff but at least you know that if the blankets come off of them they have this warm onesie on their arms on their legs on their feet and it is awesome and if it gets super cold we just put a onesie underneath that and then we'll also put socks on them so anyway it's just like a little tip I don't know if it's really cold where you guys are at but maybe you could do that and the place that I went and got them from it's where my parents live but they have things that are at a super low price I had like a 20% off coupon and um, I got a really good deal on all of those so anyways hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog I thought it was gonna be a little bit longer because usually Tyler takes the GoPro and films when he goes to work and cuts down trees and stuff um, but he didn't take it this time so I didn't have any footage but I'm gonna try to get him to take it tomorrow so you guys might see some good action all right, I think this end slate is long enough. So if you guys enjoyed this vlog, you can be sure to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you guys haven't done so already. And we'll see you tomorrow.